Hello, my lovely people. Welcome back to my channel. We are still on the gist from the palace of Oni of Ife. I greet you according to your time and the time you are seeing this video. Please, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and turn on the notification bell to get notified each time I upload a new content. If you are returning subscriber, thank you so much for your support. Okay, allegedly it was said that uh, Oni of Ife's father have cried out on losing Queen Naomi. According to what he said, he said that the worst thing that have ever happened to his son, Oni of Ife, was losing Queen Naomi. She, he said that Queen Naomi left the palace with everything, as an everything good, but the serenity, the peace, the love, the orderliness, that everything you can uh, find in a woman that she left the palace with them all and i'm beginning to ask does it mean that all the ifa wives according to the uni of ife <laughs> they don't have any of these qualities of course many netizens have reacted to their behavior in the palace lately always at each other's neck always trying to sell uh uh, each other's information to the blogger to bloggers or to to the public trying to drag others you know so but it was said that why when Naomi was in the palace that there is peace and tranquility and love there and it was said that then whenever you see Oni of Ife addressing uh, the public that you will see that as in he commands respect and love you know but these days it seems as if a lot have changed that this time around he no longer concentrates all he thinks about is how to bring queen naomi back and queen naomi on her own side have been rejecting him and this has been a very big problem to the royal house entirely because they really really mix uh, Miss uh, Queen Naomi, that things are not the way they used to be while she was in the palace. And don't forget that uh, uh, some time ago that Oni's uh, stepmother have also said something, saying that why Queen Naomi was in the palace, that everything have due process. But this time around, it is no more like that. That she can recall that why Queen Naomi was in the palace, the cook, although it was said that he only have chef this time, but then it was Naomi who makes his food. And that brings us to the moment they said that uh, he went to Akure to visit her and she made him a delicious meal, of which in the palace, none of the Oloris makes his meal. You can imagine that. I remember one of the interviews that... Uh, uh, Toby grant, uh, granted to one TV like that and they were asking him, her do you make food for Oni of Ife she said I am a good chef but I'm a good cook but he has his chef you know so you see when you think uh, look at these two uh, scenarios we see that the difference is clear why when Naomi was in the palace a wife, there is a wife in the palace performing all the wifely duties, which includes making the husband to be happy, making sure that the husband is concentrating on everything that he has to do, you know. But now a lot of things have changed. And don't forget that the last time we had that uh, Olori Mariam challenge, only of his first father, all because of this same thing that he said. Or he has been saying that losing Queen Naomi is a, a very big slap on their face. That his son have lost a lot. And it was said that Mariam uh, said that said to him that he was uh, being Pasha. That he's being Pasha among his uh, daughter-in-laws and all that. So guys, I don't know what to think about the hotel. But all I'm seeing is that they are really missing Queen Naomi. And that was because... She did well. She's a virtuous woman. She did well while she was in that palace. Although a lot of people are just criticizing, saying that uh, why would she bring out her 
marriage to the public that she went to her Instagram uh, uh, handle to say a lot of things about Oni of Ife that is not supposed to be there. It's not supposed to be so. That this and that, that she's always on social media. This her. My dear, one thing about this life is that people must see. Whether you do good, though, they must see. Whether you do bad, though, they must say, but it will be better that you do good so that when you are not around, they will say, Hey, if not for this person, if not for, had it been that if this person is here, the things wouldn't have been in this manner. Do you think, with the way that uh, with the way all that Oloris are doing in the palace now, if they leave that palace, do you think uh, they are going to be remembered and missed the same way they are missing with Naomi? That is a question everyone should ask him, his or herself. Yes, all these things that people are saying, especially the uh, palace, especially the family of uh, Oni of Fife, none of them have come out to say that Queen Naomi is bad. I mean, none. All the things that we've been hearing about them, they all uh, say good things about Queen Naomi. That is because she's doing good things. Yes, she did good things while she was in that palace. Because if she had been doing bad things, now that she said I'm done with the marriage, they would have let her go. But because she have uh, good characters and a good thing to offer, that is why you see Oni of Ife and the whole family running after her, uh, trying to bring her back to the palace. Although some people will say it's because he gave a, she gave birth to the prince and all that. Yes, she gave birth to the prince. Another thing is that her character is making way for her too so you see anyways that is what we are hearing and i thought i should come and share it with you guys please always remember that all this information they are all alleged okay they are not for stand information i did not hear directly from only of your first father but i heard it from other sources which are not verified okay so it should be treated as such whatever you think about the whole thing please do well to share it on the comment section and if you have not subscribed to my channel go ahead and subscribe if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for your support my god will always bless you for being part of this channel thank you once again see you guys in my next video bye for now love you guys